Hey friends, what's up? It's April. Welcome to another video. Today I'm going to share with you all of the books that I acquired in the month of July. There's 15 of them, but before we get into the book haul, I just want to give a massive shout out to today's sponsor. I've been working with them for a few months now and I absolutely love them. And of course, they are Skillshare. So if you haven't heard me talk about Skillshare before, it is an online learning community where people can come together and take the next step in their creative journey. There are thousands of classes on anything you could possibly imagine, like cooking, creative writing, uh, graphic design, art, bullet journaling, calligraphy. Literally everything is on there. And they have classes run by incredible people. There's even an essay writing class by Roxane Gay which is amazing. But if you didn't know, I just had a baby three weeks ago and I'm finding it really hard to still be as productive as I was before I had a baby. So I decided to take this class called Stay Home and Be Productive With Me by Nikki Crystal. And it was amazing because she literally just takes us through her week and uses her bullet journal and talks us through how she groups tasks together and gets things done basically. And it was just really motivating watching her process and the grouping things together is genius and is something I'm definitely going to take away from that class and apply in my own life. So if you click the link in my description, the first 1,000 of you will get two months of Skillshare Premium for free. So the Premium membership, there's no ads and you have unlimited access to every class on there. And after that, it's a really affordable price of less than $10 a month. And it is so totally worth it and a program that I am using myself. And it is one that I actually wholeheartedly do recommend to you because I can guarantee you'll find something on there for you that will make a difference in your life. So thank you so much again to Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. Now let's get into the book haul. I got some amazing books in July and I'm so excited to share them with you. So first I'm actually going to talk about two baby books that were sent to me. I requested them not knowing whether they'd actually send them my way or not and they did. So Alan and Unwin sent baby Love Earth and Baby Love Calm and these are ABC books. So this is an ABC of mindfulness and this one is an ABC of our planet and I absolutely adore these. That's what they look like inside and I'm just so glad to have these for my baby when she's a little bit older and they're just a great addition to her little growing library. So thank you so much Alan and Unwin for these. And then Alan and Unwin also sent my way the paperback of Clap When You Land by Elizabeth Acevedo. This is a YA book told in verse and it's all about these two sisters who only learn of each other's existence in the tragic event of their father's death. This is one that I definitely am going to be checking out sooner rather than later. I also have the audiobook downloaded and I'm so excited for this because I have loved Elizabeth Acevedo's previous two books and I've just heard amazing things about this and I'm just super excited. So thank you so much, Alan and Unwin. Then I have a couple of gifts. Um, the first one is from my dear friend, Kara, who has a channel and you should definitely check her out. But she received two copies of this book accidentally. So she sent one my way and that is The Stars and the Blackness Between Them by Janorda Petrus. And this follows uh, two characters, one from Trinidad and one from the US. And I believe it is a sapphic romance as the girl from Trinidad moves to the US. I've also heard great things about this. So thank you so much, Kara, for sending this to me. Maybe we can buddy read it sometime. Then I don't know if I have shown this in a book haul yet or not, but um, my mum knows that I collect copies of Jane Eyre. So whenever she sees them, she always picks them up for me. So she found this Wordsworth Classics edition and I didn't have it. So she picked it up for me. It's not the most exciting edition ever, but I'm so excited to add it to my shelves. I should really do a video on all my Jane Eyre editions because I have a lot. The next one is another edition of Jane Eyre. And this was gifted to me from my dear friend Paige, who also has a channel, which I will leave linked up above. But this, they only printed 10,000 copies of. And I tried to pre-order it and they canceled my order. So she ordered it from somewhere else and luckily they didn't cancel it. But yeah, that is this season's edition of Jane Eyre. It is so beautiful. The dust jacket has these this cutout design and it has a ribbon bookmark. And apparently there's also a bookmark inside. 
that I didn't see when I first opened it. It's like hidden inside. I can feel it. Okay, it's on. It's in this little thing. Oh, it's so pretty. Can you imagine if someone hadn't commented on the vlog where I unboxed this? I would never have known there was a bookmark in this because it's hidden inside. But look at this. That's so cool. Anyways, this is the probably the most beautiful edition of Jane Eyre that I own now. I'm absolutely obsessed with it. It has these lovely quotes throughout and I just, I can't thank you enough, Paige, because it's my new most prized possession. Okay, now moving on to books that I purchased myself. First, we have the only book I think that I pre-ordered for August and that is Burn Our Bodies Down by Rory Power. This is Rory's second novel following Wilder Girls, which was one of my favorite books of last year, so I knew I had to pre-order this one. I honestly have no idea what it's about, but it's Rory Power, so I knew I had to read it. So I guess I'll let you know what it's about when I actually do read it. Uh, then I went out and bought the repackaged editions of books three and four in the Babysitter's Club series. They are republishing these with new covers and they're releasing two every month. So these were the two that came out in August. So we have The Truth About Stacy and Marianne Saves the Day. Now I have not yet watched the Netflix adaptation but I'm really excited to and I really want to keep reading the series because I reread the first book uh, for my childhood favorites vlog and I loved it and I just really want to keep reading them. They're so fun. Next we have The Fifth Season by N.K. Jemisin. I feel like everyone is reading this right now and I just, I, I just got on board the hype train and I bought it. This is like a dystopian fantasy. It's also queer and I believe the whole cast are characters of color and it's like a dystopian fantasy where every I don't know how many years uh, natural disasters happen and like destroy the planet. I don't really know anything else, but I'm excited. <laughs> then we have The Vanishing Half by Britt Bennett. This is another one that I've been hearing a ton of buzz about lately. It's about these two twin sisters. They're both black, but one of them is very white passing and decides to follow that path in life and pretend that she is a white woman and I believe it just follows them throughout their lives and the differences that their lives uh, take. Dif what? Does that sentence make sense? Anyway, super keen to check this one out. Then we have A Song Below Water by Bethany C. Morrow. I did order this like two months ago but it took ages to get to me because it kept going out of stock, which is awesome for the author. But this is about black mermaids. And I'm so excited. Absolutely adore this stunning cover. I believe this is more of a like contemporary with like a magical twist, if you will. But yeah, I've been hearing again great things about this. I need to read it ASAP. Then in order to get free shipping for that book, because I ordered that on Amazon, I had to add another book to my cart, which I was totally fine about. So I decided to finally get my hands on the Tea Dragon Festival by Katie O'Neill. This is my favorite graphic novel series of all time and I only owned an e-arc of this so I really wanted to own it physically because it's just so stunning and I'm just so glad to finally have it on my shelves and I can't wait for the third one to come out which I've already read because I got another e-arc so I'll have to order that one too when it comes out but I absolutely adore these. Now the last two books I ordered again off of Amazon, but the Australian Amazon, because they were on sale for ridiculously cheap. So first we have another edition of Jane Eyre. And I think I used to own this edition, but I don't know what happened to it. So I just ordered it again. It was only like $6, which is crazy, but it is the Modern Library Edition. And I love this cover. I think it is so beautiful. And then we just have the green colored spine. I also own the Count of Monte Cristo in this edition. It has a blue spine. So yeah, beautiful. Love it. And then lastly, this was on sale for $12, which I'll leave the US conversions on the screen because 12 Australian dollars is like ridiculously cheap for a book. <laughs> but it is Girl, Woman, Other by Bernadine Everisto and this won the Booker Prize last year and I believe it is a multi-generational story which oh, I love those like Homegoing by Ya Jesse and um, Pachinko by Min Jin Lee amazing multi 
generational stories. It says, Girl, Woman, Other follows 12 very different characters on an entwined journey of discovery. It is future, it is past, it is fiction, it is history. It is a novel about who we are now. This is going to be amazing, I can just tell. So there you have it. Those are the books that I acquired in the month of July. There's a ton that I'm so excited to get to and hopefully I'll get to them soon, but you know, having a baby limits my reading time. <laughs> but yes, that's going to be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and thank you again to Skillshare for sponsoring today's video and I will see you all soon in a new one. Goodbye!